Hi there, Zachary Stockhill here from RetroactiveJealousy.com and today I'm bringing you another Q&A video. So, Garrett writes, Here's my question. I understand the idea that I should stop talking to my partner about their past, but I'm wondering if you have any advice about entering a new relationship. Do you think it's a good idea to tell a new girlfriend early on, Hey, I'd rather not hear details about your past. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Okay, Garrett, thank you for your question. It's a very good one. It's not the easiest question to answer, and I'm forced to be a bit general here. Um, but I think my, my number one piece of advice is this. Err on the side of caution. If you struggle with retroactive jealousy in one relationship, unfortunately, it's extremely common for you to struggle with it in multiple relationships. If you haven't yet really stepped up and put in the work to beat retroactive jealousy for good, I have an inbox filled with emails from people who struggle with retroactive jealousy in one relationship and then a couple years later struggle with it in another relationship, broke up with that person because they thought, hey, this will this will solve my retroactive jealousy. And then shocking, two years later they're in another relationship and they struggle with retroactive jealousy again. So unfortunately, until you really step up, put in the work, and commit to overcoming retroactive jealousy for good, it's very likely that it'll follow you into multiple relationships. And even if you beat retroactive jealousy, you know, I would still say, uh, I would still advise people to err on the side of caution. So what does that mean? I think if you're in a new relationship, and I don't think you should make a big deal of it. I don't think you should sit your new partner down and say, hey, listen, I don't want to ever talk about your past. You know, that's obviously, you know, that's ridiculous. You're not going to do that. However, when you're having conversations with them and you feel like the conversation might be veering into slightly dangerous territory, in other words, you know, you feel like they, may be, they might start sharing details that maybe you don't want to hear, then gently steer the conversation in another direction. You know, and you can just kind of make it clear. You don't have to make a big deal of it, but just kind of make it clear like, hey, I'd, I'd rather not talk about that stuff. You know, like let's focus on the future. Let's focus on our present. Um, let's not be dwelling in the past. So I would say don't make a big, big deal of it, but be conscious that this is a problem that has you know, been an issue for you in your life. And it's probably better for you to err on the side of caution. So just whenever that comes up, just kind of steer the conversation in another direction. But if you're with a partner who, you know, is talking about their past a lot and they keep bringing up all these details that you don't want to hear, I think it's probably, you know, reasonable and worthwhile to kind of say to them, listen, you know, I'm having a great time with you. This is fantastic. But can we just spend a little bit less time talking about your past? Like, I don't need to know these details. You know, let's focus on our present. Let's focus on the, our future. Let's really focus on the things that really matter. So. I hope you found that video helpful, Garrett. I appreciate the question. And if anyone watching this, if you found this video helpful and you'd like me to do more of these Q&A videos, please be sure to click the like button underneath this video. And uh, be sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll be talking to you again very, very soon.